Hello and welcome to another video of Hugo Stuff and today we're going to be doing some origami which I have actually never done before but I'm going to give it a go today. So uh, for this lesson you will need a piece of paper, um, some scissors and a pencil. Okay so yeah let's get started. So first we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut a square in our paper. Nice big square. So I'm just going to do mine that big. Now you can do yours bigger if you want, but I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it that big. Um, so if you already have square paper at home, you can just use your own square paper but I just am going to cut out because I don't have any square paper. Okay so we're going to start off by um actually do you know what I never told you what we were doing so we are going to be doing uh fortune teller so you need to do chin 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 and then it's I'll explain it at the end. Okay so now we're going to get the paper and we're going to fold one corner in slightly. So not all the way, just slightly like that. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it a tiny bit short. Okay. So when we're done that, we're just gonna copy the same step on this side. So it's sort of the way you'd start off a paper plate. And we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do one on this side. And then finally, now this is actually, I'm going to make that a bit shorter, but, and this one a bit longer. So it should look a bit like that, divided like an X through the middle. Okay, so now we're going to turn our paper around and then just do the exact same folding steps as we did before. And last one, there. So it should be like that on one side, straighten that up, and then that on this side. Okay, so when we're done that, I'm just going to fold in like this. So we should have these two. And then we're going to get both our fingers, and like that, and pull this off and then we're going to put it back into fold we're going to get the other side pull that up too okay so when we're done that we're just going to pull both of them up and there you have it a fortune teller okay so um now i'm going to um uh i'm going to do it um based on animals and um but you can do it based on whatever you want. So I'm going to fast forward this part, but at the end, um, you can pause the video and uh, just do your own thing or even leave the video if you know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, fast forwarding in three, two, one. Let's fast forward. So, um, there we have it. We have our fortune teller. And so, it looks great. So, I'm just going to demonstrate what you do. So, say I pick a two. So, you go one, open like that, one, and then two. And then you look in and you pick E, F, A, or G. And I might go E, A, B, C, D, E. And then you pick one of these, H, A, sorry, messed up a b c d e f g h and then you choose the last one which could be e and then you fold it up and you are a dog so it works just like that 
Um, sometimes people put it all across, but I like to do just one. Uh, now, as I already said uh, before, you can do um, whatever topic you want in your fortune teller. I just did animals because I sort of thought, well, why not? Um, so, yeah, that's really it from me. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.